in the question we have a 42 year old she is female and she presented she is a known case of hypertension and rheumatoid arthritis who is on angiotensin receptor blockers methotrexate and sertolizumab pegol so we already know that sertolizumab pegol is an anti tnf alpha drug right it's an anti tnf alpha drug so she is on methotrexate and an anti tnf drug for her rheumatoid arthritis and she is on arb for her hypertension and she presented with shortness of breath right and they have also mentioned the grade of the shortness of breath which is significant she has grade 3 nyha shortness of breath right and when we examine the patient the patient had a bp of 160 and her jvp is raised and her nt pro bnp is 300 picogram per ml now the the examiner is asking you among his among her current medications which one would we would you like to stop right would you like to stop arbs that's our option a or would you prefer to stop methotrexate that is our uh, option b or would you prefer to stop sertolizumab pegol or there is no need for stopping any medication that's our last option right now let us address the diagnosis of the patient the known diagnosis is hypertension for which patient is on arb and the known another known diagnosis is ra for which patient is on methotrexate and sertolizumab pegol Com presenting complaint is shortness of breath which is significant nyha grade 3 and there is a raised jvp suggestive of one possibility is right heart failure and when we look at the n terminal pro bnp for the patient right that is 300 picogram per ml look at the age of the patient that is 42 for her age right our nt pro bnp levels more than 125 picogram per ml would be considered as significantly elevated right so she has elevated nt pro bnp so keeping that in mind now what is our diagnosis she has raised jvp she has elevated nt pro bnp she has presented with grade 3 nyha dyspnea so that is a clear pointer right so we are dealing with a patient of a known hypertension and ra presenting with heart failure right so she has presented with heart failure now do we need to stop any of her medication because she has got the heart failure like should we stop arbs obviously not right so we would prefer to treat a patient with heart failure with beta blockers and ac inhibitors or, or arbs so that is something that i don't want to touch i will continue with that right so between methotrexate and sertolizumab pegol do we need to stop anything so to answer this question we need to look at the acr 2021 guidelines so let me take you through the acr 2021 guidelines now according to acr 2021 guidelines how do we treat a case of rheumatoid arthritis right so the rheumatoid arthritis the first point we need to know about the management of rheumatoid arthritis is if there is moderate to high disease activity score moderate to high disease activity score what is our preferred drug now acr 2021 preferably favors monotherapy right and if you have to pick one drug it is always always methotrexate right so it favors monotherapy methotrexate is the preferred agent for moderate to high disease activity obviously when i say moderate to high disease activity you are assessing using the activity scores right okay and if there is low disease activity if there is low disease activity according to the disease activity scores then you can prefer the drug of choice can be said to be hcqs hydroxychloroquine right okay now once you start the initial medications right particularly for patients with moderate to high disease activity you are reassessing the patient within three months and within six months our goal right we we follow something called a street to target principle so our goal is at the end of three months improvement right by three months we want to see the improvement in disease activity scores and at the end of six months we want to achieve remission or significantly low disease activity scores right remission or low disease activity scores so the details of what counts to be called as remission according to acr i have discussed in the main videos and i would recommend you to go through that for time being, I will tell you that if you are following the Simplified Disease Activity Index, SDI, right, then a score of less than 3.3 would mean the patient has achieved remission, right? That's how we manage. Now, if at this particular time frames, if these yardsticks are not met, you're not seeing any improvement even after, right, starting the methotrexate or whatever additional, uh, whatever alternative DMAID is your chosen, right, at the end of three months, there is no improvement, you will move on to this phase two of the treatment or if at the end of six months there is no remission or low disease activity you will be moving on to the phase two of the treatment now in phase two treatment how do we manage we are basically looking at the presence of prognostically unfavorable factors right so in the next phase in phase two we will be looking at presence of 
prognostically unfavorable factors so if there is prognostically unfavorable factors present like that is basically like evidence of early joint damage on your ultrasound showing marginal erosions or there may be very high disease activity scores prognostically unfavorable factors right so if they are present if they are present and if they are not present so if they are not present you will probably choose an alternative conventional dmards right so for example if you had started with let me say hydroxychloroquine now you can think of leflunamide or you can think of methotrexate or if you had started with methotrexate you can think of adding leflunamide or you can think of adding hydroxychloroquine that's how you will probably manage a case right but if there are prognostically unfavorable factors present and particularly remember very high disease activity scores or having the evidence of the joint damage early joint damage on your ultrasound or x-rays such patients you will probably think of a biological dmard right or you will think of a target specific dmard right okay now when you choose biological dmards what acr recommends is that if you are thinking of choosing a tnf alpha inhibitors right or tnf alpha blockers dmards you need to have caution about heart failure if patient already has heart failure right if heart, heart failure diagnosis is already pre established in that case preferably avoid using the tnf alpha blockers right think of using other biologicals or target specific dmards that is what the initial statement here mentions addition of a non tnf inhibitor biological dmrd or target specific dmrd is conditionally recommended over addition of a tnf inhibitor for patients with new york heart association heart failure class 3 or class 4 symptoms and an inadequate response to conventional dmrd so in this case that was a scenario right but the heart failure diagnosis is not pre established so if the patient presents or develops heart failure when he is on the biologicals particularly tnf alpha agent how do we manage switching to a non tnf alpha inhibitor biological dmrd or a target specific dmrd is conditionally recommended over continuation of a tnf alpha inhibitor for patients taking a tnf alpha inhibitor who develop heart failure right so point number 1 and point number 2 are very very important for us to remember right so in case if patient develops heart failure when he is on the tnf alpha inhibitor we should be switching over to another biological agent or a target specific dmrd and if the patient is already have the heart failure with the class 3 of class 4 nyha symptoms in that case preferably avoid initiation of the tnf alpha blockers this is what the acr recommends so now let us go back to the question and address it right so in this case patient has the grade 3 nyha symptoms and he the heart failure diagnosis is something that we can already agree upon so in that case the drug that needs to be stopped here is sertolizumab pegol right in that place you can bring in some other biological or you can bring in some target specific dmrd so that the patient's rheumatoid arthritis doesn't experience a flare up right so the correct answer for this question is our option c sertolizumab pegol that's a drug that i would prefer to stop or withdraw and switch over to additional drug in the form of a biological non tnf alpha blocker or a target specific dmrd right